uh, so I'm just going to do a class later on that, or a presentation later on uh, what we call a career progression. Gunner Sergeant, uh, Staff Sergeant, Gunner Sergeant, Mass Sergeant, all the way up. We have non-commissioned officers with the corporals and sergeants, E45, and then E6 splits again, and you become that staff, because now you're part of the planning process. You go know, uh, non-commissioned officers to total force, so that you can kind of figure out what percentage of non-commissioned officers you want in your service. You hold everything together and make sure that all the pieces are doing what they're supposed to be doing. He's done his education. It's time for him to go to the next level. He wants to become an E8. Well, there's two E8s. Oh, just a NCO. Yes, yes. So you have a NCO, and yeah. also you have a first sergeant. Yeah. Both of them are just to go. Uh, no, no. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you can go down that route. If you want to go to college, you can pursue that route. If you want to do something vocational, like go work in oil rigs or whatever the case may be, we'll provide that information to you too. I am the career planner for 2 2, so when the Marines come to me, I have to set them up with this transition readiness seminar. That way, uh, we like to do it about a year out, so we schedule interviews throughout their career, and when they come to me about a year out, I, I try to schedule that uh, appointment with the transition readiness seminar personnel so that they can go over there and get those classes set up. He's him. They're also responsible for that, so he's just double checking. Right here, it's just a structure. The structure of the NCO. As you look, we got the private, he has no rank insignia, and it works his way up. Private first class mass corporal. We talk E1, E2, E3, it kind of illustrates that up on the board for you. Because when you go to advanced you look at it, everything advanced was developed for the infantryman, was what it was uh, developed for. It was, so everything we did was more like a combat situation with advances. Let's say you are a young, healthy Romanian citizen, and you want to become a soldier. Your only knowledge about the army is a couple of games on Xbox, a couple of war movies. So next day you show up to the recruiting station and you say, I want to become a soldier, active soldier, corporal, active corporal to become an SEO. That's later, not prior, correct? No, prior. Oh, oh, it is prior. That's why, that's why usually the candidates goes, they go to the same MOS. It's way, lots way easier for them.